You are listening to Padeeps.com. Now we are going to see the second unit in our biobotany book. That is plant anatomy. Anatomy is a branch of uh, biology that developed after the invention of lenses and microscopes. Because most of the characters which are visible to our naked eye already studied. But the invisible, the structures which are not visible to our naked eye came to light only after the discovery of microscope. So this branch of uh, biology, anatomy, essentially flourished after the invention of microscope. Microscope has got a long history from simple lens of ant and leaf and work. Now we have got a well sophisticated electron microscopes. So by the use of this instrument we are able to study the fine inner details of plants. That branch is called a plant anatomy. Anatomy is coined from two words ana and tamin ana is as under tamin is to cut so what actually we do we cut a section part of the plant part and keep it under a microscope and observe that is what meaning of this word anatomy ana and tamien as under to cut is the literal meaning of this word anatomy this is used to study the internal structure and organization of plants so uh, if you observe the outer character then it becomes a morphological character morphology another branch of study where we observe external characters but internal characters of a plant is studied under this branch called plant plant anatomy it is mainly done with the help of a microscope dissection and observing it through microscope cutting a thin slice of the plant part and observing it with the help of a microscope what microscope actually do it magnifies things 100 times 1000 times more than a lakh time it can magnify based on the type of microscope in the plant the simplest form is unicellular form where one cell performs all the functions of life growth preparation of food doing all types of metabolism reproduction and completes its life life cycle gets over within one cell so the simplest form of plant is a unicellular but when the evolution occurs it becomes multicellular as the multicellular structure develops the complexity of the organism increases the complexity of the structures of an organism increases become more complex where we could see in the highly developed plants we have uh, different uh, parts like stem root leaves flowers which are specifically carrying out certain functions so in plants the functions are carried out by different types of cells which are forming grouping together performing a particular function become a tissue so there are different types of tissue in a plant body that is what we are going to see as a next heading that is tissue and tissue systems you are listening to pedips.com